As we look at the numbers here at AT&T Stadium, you see that Lopez is eight years older than that of Crowley. The height and the reach is identical. Crowley undefeated. Rules of the fight all night long. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. The fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. And the fight is official after only four rounds have been completed. So, a jam-packed AT&T Stadium as we continue with the action it is the first of four here in arlington texas they say they do things bigger in texas well this is a big night a historic night of boxing Gentlemen, a very good evening to you and welcome to AT&T Stadium here in Arlington, Texas as Premier Boxing Champions presents a big night of action coming your way brought to you by Man Down Promotions, TGB Promotions and Showtime. And we extend a special welcome to the brave men and women serving around the world and joining us tonight on AFN, the American Forces Network. Introducing our three judges, scoring our opening attraction from ringside. From Nevada, Tim Cheatham. From Connecticut, Glenn Feldman. And from New Jersey, Steve Weisfeld. And we introduce our third man to the ring. He's in charge of this bout. Our referee is Lawrence Cole. All right, fans, here we go. 10 rounds of boxing scheduled in a welterweight special attraction. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with red and green trim, and fighting out of Riverside, California. He weighed in at 146 and one half pounds. His record stands at 38 wins, eight losses, and one no decision, with 21 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the former world a title challenger and the current WBC number seven ranked contender, known as the Riverside Rocky, Introducing Josecito Lopez. And his opponent across the ring, ready to fight out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Peterborough, Ontario, Canada. He weighed in at 144 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 20 wins, no losses, nine wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated Southpaw welterweight contender, ranked number six by the WBO, introducing uh, Cody, the Crippler Crowley. And once again, a referee in charge, Lawrence Cole, now to give instructions. All right, gentlemen, one of the rules are in the dress room. I want you to obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Understood? Touch them up. Good luck to both of y'all. So Cody Crowley, 20 and 0 with nine knockouts, matching up against the Riverside Rocky, Jose Cito Lopez. Lopez has been away from the ring since December of 2020, Box. almost the same time away from the ring as that of Errol Spence in our main event. Crowley Southpaw, Jose Cito Lopez conventional. Crowley right away trying to assert himself in the beginning stages of this round, Miguel. Absolutely. He knows that Jose Cito Lopez is typically the more aggressive fighter in all of his fights, and he wants to change that up and bring the fight to Jose Cito Lopez and make him a counterpuncher. This is a phrase that I'm going to use probably more than once tonight, Miguel, and it happens to be when guys get a little bit older and former outstanding analyst in boxing and writer Larry Merchant said it best. Will we see the Josecito Lopez of old or will we see an old Josecito Lopez? That is the question. Absolutely. It's like we said, his last fight was in 2020 of December. It's been a while for him. He is older, 37 years old. Those years and, and the layoff 
sometimes it takes a little longer as you get older to bounce back in the ring, and that's what Cody Crawley is trying to take advantage of. He's the younger, hungrier fighter, and he wants to prove to everyone that I am another name in this 147-pound division. Well, I think it's also of the adage of with Crowley, he knows that Lopez is coming off of that lengthy layoff. So he might be thinking, let me try to go ahead and blast him out early and catch him cold. Absolutely. And not the fact that, look, Crowley does not have that one punch eraser, at least from our standpoint. But he does have power and he's trying to get into the rim early. No, he doesn't have a good knockout percentage. Only nine knockouts in his 20 victories. So that's less than half of the fights that he has been in. He's typically a more technical fighter. He likes to outbox his guys and usually coast to decision victories. Uh, and Josecito Lopez is one that is going to be aggressive. He will be open to be hit. But again, he's got a tough chin already. And Crowley, uh, yet again, as we see with his aggression, it's, it seems like he's trying to turn the tables on Josecito Lopez a bit. Under a minute to go here in the first as now Lopez getting in the mix. He gets tagged with the right hook, but back comes Lopez. Look at Crowley go, though. Beautiful combination from Crowley as he landed with an uppercut. And that really kind of, I wouldn't say stunned Josecito Lopez, but certainly tagged him a bit. I think Crowley is trying to demonstrate that, look, I am bigger than you, I'm stronger than you, I'm more explosive than you, and I'm faster than you. It is that he's trying to tell Josecito Lopez in his mind, look, I have you beat in every which way, and that's why he's smiling right now in the first. Yeah, he wants to show Josecito Lopez, I'm in an entirely different class than you, and I am one of the premier fighters in this division. You have had your opportunity, you're older, I'm gonna put you down, and I'm gonna put you down emphatically in this fight. On our way to the second. Number two, this one scheduled for 10. Crowley, 17 of 93 for an 18% connect percentage. Lopez threw less than half of what Crowley threw, 9 of 39 for a 23% connect percentage. What were your observations, makes from I thought, first round? I thought Crowley opened it up really well. He didn't wait for Josecito Lopez to bring the fight to him. And now Josecito Lopez rocked. He got wobbled. I don't know if he was rocked or he was off balance or a combination of the two, but now he's being driven to the perimeter of the ring. Crowley has been able to tag Josecito Lopez a few times already. And that is not a good sign if you're Lopez. Now Lopez trying to use some of his veteran-like tendencies to try to turn things around. This would be a big win if Crowley gets a decision. Oh, man, he is unloading. And Lopez's face is reddening from some of the work of Cody Crowley. Yeah, just by observing right now, Jose Lopez certainly looks uh, uh, significantly slower than Crowley. He is just a step behind. He is getting tagged. He's late to react. And Crowley knows it. I know that Lopez has fought every style imaginable, but do you think it is a case that dealing with a young softball who has volume and is not just a technician could be affecting him? Absolutely. I mean, this is a fight that is not... First off, he was an underdog coming into this fight. Crowley's undefeated for a reason, and now Crowley's been the more active fighter. Uh, so you're dealing with ring rust, old age, and the fact that you're diving in against an undefeated fighter in your first fight in over a year. This is not a recipe for success if you're Josecito Lopez. Nonetheless, he's always game for a big fight. 
And now he is trying to go to work on the body as we see a smile from Crowley. Well, I like that Lopez is like, you know what? Let me just bite down on my mouthpiece and hammer away in his body. He, I got to cut away some of the mobility that Crowley has. And Crowley's coming into this fight with such high confidence. And why is that? He's coming off of the biggest win of his career over Kudratilo Abdukukarov, in which he dominated, let's be honest, in that fight in December. Absolutely. I mean, this is, he's feeling great about himself. And you just see it in his mannerisms and the way he's approached this fight. He doesn't think Josecito Lopez is on the same level as him. Well, Lopez had a brief moment of success, but so far it has been Cody Crowley who has been the one to get the better of these exchanges. Look at this work, and now Lopez is, has his back on the ropes in the corner. And as you said, Ray, we know that Jose de Lopez has a tough chin. He's, will, he's been in a lot of firefights in his career. He has taken some big shots, and he always stays standing. And I, that's one of the things that he may have to do in this fight is, like you said, bite down on his mouthpiece and just go to work on Crowley's body to slow him up. On to the third. Look at some of the action, Miguel. There was that little overhand right hook from Crowley that I think it was a, a, a balance of, a little bit off balance for Josito Lopez, but that right hook also connected. And then there we see a little bit low from Crowley, but it just his southpaw stance is really presenting a lot of problems for Josito Lopez right there, as Crowley's been able to get in through the defense of Lopez. Numerically, Crowley 40 of 181 for a 22% connect percentage. Lopez 23 of 92 for a 25% connect percentage. So Crowley has been the busier of the two. There's a straight left now for Crowley. Going to the body again, and Lopez, there you see, really trying to unleash, go to the body, and Crowley is not allowing Lopez to explode like he wants to. Lopez starting off strong here in the third, and Crowley willing to oblige him. Big right hook upstairs for Crowley. This was the most aggressive we've seen Lopez look here in round three. Can he keep up this pace, though? Crowley with the right hook. And he drives Lopez back with a straight left. Beautiful right hook there by Crowley. And now comes Lopez, though. Look at Lopez go. And Lopez just teeing off, and Crowley's just smiling, saying, OK, I'll take it a little bit. Lopez did exactly what you said. Bite down in his mouthpiece, and he's unloading. Forget caution of the win. And now he took an uppercut. But as we know with Lopez, his Mexican style, he's a guy that I'll absolutely go out on my shield as long as I know I gave everything I had and unloaded every single punch I could throw. Big uppercut by Crowley. Back comes Lopez. Lopez isn't using any head movement whatsoever. He's just saying, all right, let's fight fire with fire. My goodness, Lopez has a strong and sturdy chin. I mean, it's not surprising, but... Oh, big right hand for Lopez. And that may have hurt Crowley because he immediately tied Lopez up. What a sequence here in the third. This is sensational stuff. Absolutely. This has certainly been the best round for Lopez. It seemed like it took a couple of rounds to get his feet under him and get deal with the southpaw stance that Crowley had. I mean, is this not par the course for Jose Cito Lopez over the course of his 18-year career? Absolutely. I mean, it's why he's always entertaining to watch. He's always a live dog in every single fight that he's in. Sometimes he's not favored. Sometimes he doesn't win. But he is certainly going to make it as tough as possible for his opponent. When I forgot to mention, after he beat Victor Ortiz, he went up two weight classes to fight Canelo. He fought Canelo when he was 22, 23 years of age. Yeah, he is afraid of no one. And Crowley, 
I think, is finding it out that, hey, it's going to take a lot more than what he has shown in the first couple of rounds to get rid of Josecito Lopez. I like what both guys are doing here in the third. Crowley is sort of taking this sort of run and this offensive output by Lopez. But Lopez, I'm starting to see a little bit of the venom like tendencies, you know, hitting a little bit on the side of the head, hitting to the hips. Those things that you accumulate over 18 years as a professional that he's utilizing in his toolbox to try to frustrate the 29-year-old in Cody Crowley. Take a look at some of the action makes from this, our third round. This was just great body work from Jose Cito Lopez, and I think he needs to focus in on that to slow Crowley up and take away his explosion. And then there was Crowley. Obviously, he's going to have opportunities all fight to connect with Jose Cito Lopez. And there was a straight right from Lopez, knocking Crowley back. And then right back into the body again. Well, the fourth round should no doubt be wildly entertaining. Cody Crowley, Jose Cito Lopez matching up here at AT&T Stadium. They continue to go right after each other. Crowley looking to hammer away on Lopez. Back comes Lopez. Total power punches landed, thrown through three. Crowley, 46 of 116, a 39% connect percentage. Lopez, 46 of 110 for a 41% connect percentage. So Lopez is starting to come on, whereas Crowley's work rate has lessened. Absolutely, and I think that is a testament to Lopez, his tenacity, where he is going to remain in the fight at all times, regardless if you think you may have the upper hand in several rounds. Lopez has a mouse underneath his left eye. Some swelling. Lopez sort of throws Crowley and drills him with the right hand. Lawrence Gold says, no, 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 that's not going to be allowed. Told you about those veteran-like tendencies, Meeks. Absolutely. It's similar to what we saw in the Butayev Stanionis fight where Butayev resorted to some of those tactics that we're seeing Josecito Lopez use. And like you said, the tie-ups, the, the shots to the hips, shots to the forearms, throwing them around the ring a bit, and really just kind of frustrating and not allowing Crowley to build momentum. I'm not saying that Lopez is an old man, because he's not. He's 38 years of age. I mean, who am I to say I'm 35? Be that as it may, it's sort of that mentality that you look at somebody and you think physically, okay, he doesn't have big biceps, he doesn't have a big chest, but he has that strength, that boxer strength that you cannot quantify just by looking at somebody. Yeah, absolutely. He is, we've seen him, like I said, we've seen him rock Keith Thurman before. He's rocked him and almost finished him. That was a champion at the time, and that was a beautiful body shot right there that I think slowed probably up a bit. But he's got power in his hands and he, he certainly has that strength that it may not appear outwardly as so but he it's there and look at Crowley trying to unload Lawrence Cole trying to keep the peace between these two tremendous fight thus far and Lopez digging to the body with the left hook but back comes Crowley Probably got an education in the fight against Kudratilo Abdukukarov, but now this is like you're going into your master's program now, Miguel. You are going into that higher level education because you are going to see so many things that he didn't see against an unbeaten guy in Kudratilo Abdukukarov. I don't think Crowley's ever seen a style like this in his career. No, absolutely not. This is, like I said, this is certainly a difficult test for Crowley, and he's going to learn a lot about himself in this fight against Lopez. I think Lopez has sort of bridged the gap a little bit and made this a closer fight as we head to the fifth.
Let's take a look at some of the action makes from this rough and tumble. Look at Josecito Lopez drilling right on the chin there. Yeah, and that was a big right hand, actually. <laughs> and that's Crowley kind of took it in stride and said, come on, are we really going to allow this to, to continue? And then Josecito Lopez, this was the body work. And I think that's the most important aspect right now of Lopez's game is to continue with this body work. And you can tell some frustration that is beginning to mount from the corner of Cody Crowley. You know and you would probably Cody. think, Miguel, that the first two rounds went better than expected. But again, when it comes to Jose C. Lopez, you can never count him out. Numerically, here's how it goes. Punches landed, thrown through four. Crowley is 79 of 344 with a 22% connect percentage. Lopez, 56 of 202 for a 27% connect percentage. That threw the first four rounds of the fight. Now we're seeing Crowley. He's certainly going to have to navigate through the gamesmanship of Josecito Lopez and continue to maintain the game plan that he came in with. Because when it's when, when he's going, it's working. I mean, the body shots, the the quick footwork. As we see Lopez now really trying to make it rough. I think if you're Crowley, Crowley got so enamored with the fact that he was able to bang on the inside with Lopez. But you got to go back to your fundamentals and the fact that you're the younger guy, you're the fresher guy, you got the, you would think you would have the better legs. Use your athleticism, use your distance, you're a southpaw that can punch and use and set traps to be able to try to frustrate Josecito Lopez. He's literally going right to him, making him not a hard target to find for Lopez. That's that's what we know from Josecito Lopez. He's, he's willing to exchange. He's willing to get hit. He'll take a hit to deliver a hit. He doesn't have a very complicated game plan. You know he's where he's, he's going to be at. He doesn't have the most technical defense. He's his style is look i'm gonna be in front of your face and eventually i will wear you down and he's done that to a lot of guys before but you know his losses it's come to guys that are just better tactically and technically in the box boxing aspect where they're just able to outpoint him for those to see to lopez it's no secret what you see is what you get a come forward fighter who's got a strong chin who's willing to absorb two or three big shots to deliver one or two big ones and he's not going to stop until you literally have to do so much to unload on him. And Crowley, I think, needs to use his athleticism, his range, and try to make Osisito Lopez catch him instead of him playing into his favor. There you see the smile yet again from Crowley. And it seems like he has gotten a better grasp of the Josecito Lopez's style as he took, takes like three jabs from Lopez. Lopez hammering away on the body, but Crowley looking to back him up. And Lopez wisely ties up close distance now. Our next two fights will focus in on the lightweight divisionals. Hey, Valenzuela, Francisco Vargas. Valenzuela undefeated, Vargas former world champion. We are halfway home of this, our opening matchup between Cody Crowley and Jose Cito Lopez. This number, Miguel, 25 of 250. He's thrown 250 jabs in the first half of the fight. Lopez, 8 of 97 for an 8% connect percentage. That just shows you the activity and the work rate of Crowley. And that's what he needed to do against a guy like Josecito Lopez. Like I said, this is a great test for Crowley because this is a guy that's going to, it's a very difficult style. He's not an easy guy to get rid of. 
And Carly's finding it out right now, but it's also a good step up and a good name to have on your resume. And Crowley is finding it to be harder than what may, he may have thought coming into this fight. I think Crowley, though, did adjust over the past couple of rounds. Big right hook for Crowley that connected upon Lopez. And I think he hurt Lopez right there in the corner. He ducked underneath that right of Lopez and was able to counter him with the right hook of his own. Lopez being driven to the perimeter of the ring. And I like that Crowley does everything off the jab. It is that jab, and then it, occasionally he'll mix in a right hook. Hey, Crowley boxes beautifully as Lopez tried to dig underneath to the body. Lawrence Cole telling Crowley to keep the punches up. And AT&T Stadium continues to file in. They showed Errol Spence on the big screen moments ago, and the place erupted. Then they showed Uga said it was a cacophony of booze here at AT&T Stadium. You would expect nothing less in the WBC and IVF champs hometown. Well, he has certainly made a name for himself. He is the only prize fighter to main event here at AT&T Stadium, three times surpassing that of Canelo Alvarez and the great Manny Pacquiao. There's a straight right delivered beautifully by Lopez, but Crowley able to counter. Left hook to the body by Lopez. But Crowley, it would appear from my vantage point, Miguel, is out hustling Hostessi to Lopez. He is certainly out hustling him. Crowley. Again, using his technical abilities to exploit Josecito Lopez. That's what a lot of guys do. Certainly easier said than done, but Crowley so far is displaying that right now, but every round is tough. Final moments of the sixth between Cody Crowley and Josecito Lopez. Cody Crowley looking to get yet another big victory, the Canadian. Jose Cito Lopez returning to the ring for the first time since December of 2020. And here's the low blow, inadvertent shot here, Miguel. And I don't think that was a low blow. I thought that was a great shot that was right on the belt line. So I think it might have just been a missed vantage point from referee as we take a look at some of the jabs from Crowley as he was able to knock back Josecito Lopez. Lopez digging into the body, although he really hasn't gone in the body as much as I'd like him to as he did earlier in the fight. Shots landed through six, probably 35, Lopez 31. So both men are strategic in trying to hammer away upon the body of each other. I think it's a close fight, Miguel. Unofficial ringside observers have this fight either four to two in favor of Crowley or three three. Yeah, I think Crowley has really done a nice job at navigating through the pressure of Lopez. I think Lopez has been the aggressor, but I think Crowley capitalized on the late start that Lopez had in this fight. And I think it took him a, a few rounds to get readjusted because Lopez started to come on in the third and fourth round, but now Crowley has gotten more comfortable and is realizing, look, I'm just gonna have to use my technical abilities and allow myself not to engage in a firefight with Lopez. Lopez is he is throwing, but he's reaching a lot. Crowley just popped him with a right hook as Lopez threw a left. I think Lopez has adjusted to the southpaw style of Crowley, but I think it's the fact of yes, H is wearing on Lopez because he appears to be a little bit reluctant. His mind's probably telling him to throw, but sometimes your body can't respond. Oh, down goes Lopez. 
And that's a knockdown, I believe. That is a knockdown. That's significant. And Lopez, very upset. And letting Lawrence Cole know, hey, I'm, I'm ready to go. That was not a knockdown. That is significant because that would mean that this seventh round is a 10-8 round. That is a significant swing when it comes to momentum and on the scorecards for Crowley. And now if you're Lopez, you got to fight more with a sense of urgency because he's trying to get this back. Look at Lopez go now. Yeah, Lopez is one where if he feels like he's wrong, I mean, he already fights an aggressive style, but if there's uh, any sense of urgency, then he is going to ramp it up a bit more, and that's exactly what he's doing right now against Crowley. But what that will do for Crowley is that will leave Lopez open to be countered, and I think that plays into the favor of the Canadian in Cody Crowley, especially if he's accurate, which he just was with that straight left. Absolutely, it's starting to see Crowley get into a really nice rhythm as he is just in a zone currently in this seventh round, pinpoint accuracy on Lopez. And Lopez seems to be a little bit heavy on his feet, not much athleticism, not using feints, whereas Crowley is the complete antithesis, using subtle head movements, using his distance. He has the fresher legs of the two, and obviously that's because Crowley is 29 and Lopez is 38. Yeah, I think it's the age, and I think it's also the fact that this is his first fight in over a year. Both factors playing into that. the knockdown Miguel as we take a look at it seemed to be okay to me I don't think Lopez was off balance at all no it, I think it, if anything he might have been complaining that it was to the back of the head I mean it was uh, it, it, it wasn't egregious enough for me to believe that's the case and when you hit someone on the top of the head what it does is it affects your equilibrium and I think Lopez, it almost short-circuited him, and he went to the canvas. It wasn't a vicious knockdown, but still, on the scorecards, it's significant. Round eight, this one's scheduled for 10. Crowley looking to remain undefeated, whereas Lopez returning to the ring for the first time since that of December of 2020. Unofficial ringside observers have this one, 68-64 for Crowley. So Crowley, at least from some of the media members, is starting to pull away and create a cushion. And that 68-64 scorecard likely is attributed from that 10-8 round that we saw in the seventh. Absolutely. And now Crowley is in a rhythm. I thought he looked, seventh round looked extremely smooth, calculated. And I think we're starting to see Lopez's legs are just not responding to what he wants them to do. He is heavy, and I think now he is really starting to take a lot of shots. Well, his face is starting to swell considerably. And you're just seeing that he's very heavy on his front foot, and he's absorbing shots. And does he throw with as much frequency as he did in the first couple rounds? That is not to be the case. Yeah, he is becoming a very easy target to hit now. And Crowley is able to see a lot of punches coming. He ate a big right hook now. In the, in the third and fourth round, even maybe even the first half of the fifth, we saw the old Josecito Lopez. But now, from like the sixth and seventh round on, we have seen in old Josecito Lopez. Yeah, it, it really is apparent now here in these last two rounds. It's just so interesting in how it literally can change over the course of the fight. Because this is, you know, 10 rounds is 30 minutes. We have literally witnessed the change in the past 10 minutes of competition. Left hook connecting by Lopez. Under a minute remaining here in the eighth. And we'll see if we'll have one more last stand from Lopez to see if he can pull a rabbit out of his hat. But right now it is looking really, really bleak. 
because Crowley is just uh, smiling, dancing around the ring, and he is in a huge rhythm, and Lopez right there. A straight left punctuating that combination that drove back and stopped Lopez in his tracks. Yeah, Lopez just looks like he's, his feet are stuck in mud right now. And Crowley continues to take over. This would be a big win for Crowley to defeat OCC to Lopez. A nice name on his dossier as we head towards the ninth. Punches landed, thrown through a Crowley 169 of 682 for a 24% connect percentage. Lopez 105 of 395 for a 26% connect percentage. And Crowley continues, at least from our standpoint, pulling away as we are into the ninth. Crowley using his jab and has been Terrific, you would figure from the fifth round on. Don't stop. Don't push down. Push down. And if you're Lopez, I'm wondering if Robert Garcia is going to try to tell Lopez, you are down big on the cards, at least from our perspective. You need something major here in this final round and a half. He certainly needs something major, but Crowley right now picking him apart. Look at that, the triple jab. He pretty much had any shot that Crowley wants, he can get. And down goes Lopez, but no, says Lawrence Coy. He said it was behind the head. And that was virtually the same exact punch that was actually scored a knockdown a few rounds ago. Crowley has been frustrating Jose Cito Lopez from the fifth round on. Did well in the first two rounds, and then Lopez gave a very good account of himself, but now it has been almost target practice for Cody Crowley, the Canadian. It really is. It almost looks like Jose Cito Lopez is finding slow motion, and he almost went down right there. He got stunned. Literally went all the way down in a crouching position, did Lopez. I don't know how he remained upright. And I'm really trying to watch the corner of Lopez intently to get their thoughts and see if they're close to stopping this fight because Jose Cito Lopez is taking a lot of abuse right now. He certainly is, but I think Robert Garcia is like, if he isn't in any precarious position, then you have to let him end the fight. But I think you need to have the conversation, what do you want to do with your career moving forward? Absolutely. Because do you want to be served up to young guys like this? Or, I mean, what do you want to do? Yeah, it almost, it, Jose Lopez is fighting in slow motion right now. He's getting tagged every which way from Cody Crowley. And, and there, uh, Jose Lopez, that's about the fourth or fifth time his legs have buckled over the past few rounds. We are nearing the final 30 seconds of our ninth round between Cody Crowley and Jose Cito Lopez, a fight in which Crowley has distanced himself in the second half of the fight in grand fashion. Thousands in attendance here at AT&T Stadium, wherever you're joining us around the world. We thank you so much for inviting us into your homes. Ray Flores, Miguel Flores, here in Arlington, Texas, on to the 10th and final round.
Tenth and final round we go between Cody Crowley and Jose Cito Lopez. As Crowley has been in control of this, our opening matchup. Tenth and final round, we'll see if he decides to really go for broke. Round nine punches landed, thrown Crowley 18 of 59 for a 30% connect percentage. Lopez, Miguel, look at these numbers. 5 of 28 for a 17% connect percentage. Yeah, he is not landing at a, a good enough clip, but I think with his status as a veteran in this sport, the guys that he's fought, his resume, he has earned that fight, the right to finish this fight off, especially here late in the round, but he has certainly taken a lot of abuse from Crowley over the last several rounds. And I think you heard Crowley's corner tell him that, hey, just continue boxing. This fight is in the bag. If you continue boxing, eventually you're either gonna get the decision victory or the knockout will eventually come. Yeah, don't get careless should be their sort of MO and instructions to Crowley. You got this fight and be busy, but don't put yourself in any bad spot whatsoever. Especially because Lopez, he's coming forward, but look at his face, his face red, and he just got tagged with a left hand from Crowley. There's another big left from Crowley there. Crowley's having fun in there now. Oh, yeah, he, he has been just, for a while. He knows that he is the quicker fighter, and this fight has been dominated on his end. And now he is just, I think, content with getting the decision victory. Certainly he would love the knockout, but he knows Josecito Lopez and how tough he is. Couple of right hands by Josecito Lopez. But Lopez likely will suffer the ninth defeat of his professional career. Crowley likely to elevate to 21-0, and I always say likely because I've seen some egregious decisions over the course of my time, so have you, Miguel. Exactly. I mean, nothing is ever certain in this sport. No. But I think this is a, a video that in a fight that they certainly should have a sit down with Lopez and really, like you said, have a talk with them and and say, hey, you know, what, what else do we need to do moving forward? What, what more do you need to prove? You've done everything you've wanted to do in your career. You fought the biggest names and... You know, right now, I think, as you said, is this what your career you want to be is served up to the younger, hungrier fighters that are undefeated and looking to add a name to their resume? And if you're Cody Crowley, you obviously are undefeated. You have two very nice wins over Kudratilov to Kukarov. And now OCC to Lopez, he's probably saying, give me a bigger fight. I want it. I deserve it. And he'll get it. Oh, it's, it's, it's hard not to have a big fight at the 147-pound division with as many names as are in this division. Well, credit to Jose Cito Lopez for just continuing to come forward. But Cody Crowley tonight, if you didn't know, in the words of the notorious B.I.G., if you don't know, now you know. Cody Crowley is someone to keep your eye on. Absolutely. Great performance. There was a couple of moments through this fight where it was a little dangerous for him as Lopez really uh, was emptying the tank. But as we saw, just did ha didn't have nearly enough to maintain that through the full 10 rounds. So Cody Crowley, we are just awaiting the scorecards. Ray Flores, Miguel Flores here at what is becoming a very lively AT&T Stadium here in Arlington, Texas. Body shots landed in the fight. Crowley, 57 body shots landed, just 36 for Jose Cito Lopez. And for Jose Cito, you are on the back end of 30. And who knows? I mean, look, he, he had 18 good years in the sport, Cody Crowley. Showing respect to the fans here in Texas. 
Unofficial ringside observers have it 98-91 for Crowley. I would be completely okay with that. But I think it should be unanimous across the board. Don't you believe me again? It should be a very easy decision in favor of Crowley. And I wouldn't expect anything less from his dominant performance here tonight. And we await the decision. Now we send it up to ring announcer. Here is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Cody. Well, well ladies best. and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action, the decision well is unanimous. Here are the score totals. Judges at ringside, Glenn Feldman and Tim Cheatham scores about 98 to 91. Steve Weisfeld sees it 99 to 90. All three in favor of the winner and still undefeated, Cody the Crippler. Crowley. So Cody Crowley victorious by unanimous decision. It was academic across the board. And Crowley remains undefeated, adding to his resume.